In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to create and install your own Facebook Pixel. The Facebook Pixel is a little piece of JavaScript code that sits on your website and lets you track your users. So that's pretty useful because it's going to tell you all sorts of important marketing information that you can then use to better target your product to those users. So let's get started. So on Facebook.com, the first thing we do is go to the top right hand side where we have a little triangle and we just slide down to where it says manage ads and we click on that. Next we choose the ad account that we want to use and then the ads manager is going to load up. It's going to have the account overview, campaigns, ad sets and ads that we've created if you've created any before. Next we go to the top left hand side where we have the three little lines and then ads manager and we click on that and then we click on pixels. On this screen, we're going to be able to create our Facebook pixel. And as it says here, it's going to let us track web activities, improve the return of our advertising because we're going to be able to better market our ads to our users. And we're also going to be able to reach new and existing customers. We're going to be able to create lookalike audiences based on people that already visit our website. So let's go ahead and get started by clicking on create a pixel. So let's get started by giving this pixel a name. All right. And then we click on create. Great. So now it's going to give us three different options for how to install the pixel code on our website. We can use an integration or a tag manager. Now this is great if we already happen to use something like WordPress and WooCommerce or Shopify or Squarespace. They have third party integrations that are just basically you just click and install. Next, we could also manually install the code ourselves and they'll walk you step by step through that process. Or finally, you can also email the instructions to a developer if you happen to be working with a team or you happen to have a developer working with you, then they can do that for you. So the first option to use an integration or a tag manager is pretty straightforward. Let me just show you what that looks like. You just click on it and then choose one of these different uh, partners that they have an integration with. So the most common being, of course, WordPress and uh, WooCommerce. So we just click on that and then it's going to walk you through the steps of installing the extension and how to set it up. So it's pretty simple. Instead, we're going to take a look at the option to manually install the code yourself. To install the pixel code, you basically just have to find the head tags of your web page. So if you've ever used HTML before, you know what that looks like. And if not, you would just view the HTML code and it's going to look a little something like this example here at the very beginning with doc type HTML. It's going to have some stuff here and then you're just looking for the opening head uh, tag and the closing head tag and you want to insert the pixel code right here. And what you're actually going to paste in there is this code right here, the one that says copy code to clipboard. And then once you've done that, you can actually send test traffic to your pixel just to check that it's working correctly. So then you would just enter the, the URL for your website here. It would, uh, you would send test traffic. And then after a little while, it says here about 20 minutes, then you're going to see if there is activity being received from the pixel on Facebook. And that's how you know that you've installed it correctly. Next, we can add what events we're interested in tracking with the pixel. So here you can learn a little bit about what different things Facebook tracks. And here are the different events that you can track. Facebook also has the option to add custom events, but that's a little more advanced and beyond the scope of this video. So for example, you could track when a purchase is made, when a lead is generated, when you add something to an, a cart, when a user searches, or when a user views a specific piece of content. So for example, let's just try the view content one. It's going to give us different options here. So the first two options are to track the event on page load, and you can see that right here, or to track the event on inline action. So the first one is just what it sounds like. It's going to fire off that event whenever the page loads. When you track an event on an inline action, the user is basically going to have to click on something first or have to have something happen on the website before that event is fired. So this is to be even more specific, not just when the page loads, but when they specifically click on a button or take uh, some sort of an action that you want them to take. You can also have the event send dynamic data as well. So take, for example, adding an item to a cart. You can include the name of the item and the price as dynamic data. And just like we added the Facebook pixel code, in between the head tags 
of our website, we're also going to be adding this little piece of code right here that starts with script and ends with script right after the head section. So you can see that right here. Once you've added the little snippet of code to your website, you're going to be able to see if any activity has been sent from your website to Facebook. And if you want to double check that you've installed the Facebook Pixel or the event correctly, you can install the Facebook Pixel Helper, which is a Google Chrome extension. And you can do that right here. So let's continue. Great. So once you've successfully installed the Facebook Pixel on your website and added the events that you want to track and configured those as well, you can go to Facebook Analytics and start to dive into the data and see what your users are doing and where they're coming from. So we go to analytics.facebook.com to actually look at the data that our Facebook Pixel is receiving. We click on Login. And then we select the analytics entity that we want to track. So for example, that would be down here where it says pixels. So we're going to be able to see all kinds of useful information, such as the new users and compared to the previous 28 days, the unique users, the retention rate, and the user activity for monthly, weekly, and daily users. We're also going to be able to see where those users are landing on our website, where they're leaving, and where they're coming from. And on the left-hand side, we have all the different ways to filter the data. For example, you can view the active users, the revenue, the funnels, all sorts of different things, and demographic information as well. Great. So now that we're getting all this useful information about what our users are doing on our website, where they're coming from, and who they are, we can use that to better target our ads. So let me show you what that actually looks like. So one of the ways you can use this information is when you're creating a new ad and you get to the audience section like we are right here and you get to the custom audiences section you can click on create new custom audience and then we can use website traffic so this is going to create a list of people who have visited our website before or we can even target them based on the specific actions that they took on our website and that we tracked thanks to the facebook pixel so here we can create a custom audience based on people who've taken a specific action or gone to a specific page of our website. So for example, this is set to all visitors to our website in the past 30 days, but it can also be based on if they visited a specific web page, if they spent a specific amount of time on our website, or if they've taken one of these events. So right now, as you can see, I only have two that I've set up, but if you have more, for example, if they add an item to a cart, or if they've gone to a specific part of your website, then you can target just those users. And then you can also give your audience a name, save it, and then use it for future ad campaigns. One of the other great ways to take advantage of the Facebook Pixel is when you boost a post. So for example, if I click on Boost Post, it's going to create an ad for me. And on the left-hand side here, where it says Tracking Conversions, it's going to let me use the Facebook Pixel to track how effective my ad is. So then I can see if it's performing well, poorly, and then I can modify it and make it better. So that's how easy it is to create your own Facebook Pixel, install it on your website, and then use Facebook Analytics to track users, better your product, and create more specific, better targeted ads.